right on. <sighs> so I think that leaves us with either a boss battle left or one one level left. Oh shit, okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Alright. We're taking on the egg carrier. Okay. I see, so. <laughs> Drama. Please! <laughs> <laughs> okay, the funny thing is that Zolani can't actually hear any of the things going on in the game and just imitated it perfectly. Did I? You just, you nailed it. It's perfect. It's great. <laughs> oh, man, look at <laughs> Hey, now, don't laugh. This is Sonic's in pain here. <laughs> There's still a way to change this. Oh, man. You know what's happening. You know what's coming up. They all stand. They all just stand to themselves, we looking down. To an earlier point just melodramatically, it's so perfect. We'll it's be so able good. To save her. <sighs> if we go, if we start from an I earlier understand. save point, I understand. We can save her. <laughs> oh. Chaos Emerald Magic, go! They just pull it from their butt. They just pull it from like their imaginary pocket. It's pretty perfect. I'm really, really upset that Blaze isn't someone that gets more attention. Yeah, she because, just has. She doesn't get to play with the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, but but like Blaze does. Like Blaze, I find Blaze a lot more interesting than the Silver, and I find Blaze actually a lot more like effective as a character than Silver is. So it's just kind of clumsy and annoying. You. <laughs> I'll make sure to change Elisa's fate. And then, because he wants to kiss her. Should change your future too. It's gonna happen. Remember, those are Chaos Emerald number like four and five. They don't actually reach eight Chaos Emeralds. Well, well there's there are seven. Chaos or seven? Emeralds. Excuse me. Oh my God, Solon. Seriously. Oh, how could you? Seriously, Solon. What kind of Sonic fan are you? Oh my God. Oh gee, I'm taking your card back. <laughs> this, this is unacceptable. Okay, but there are still there are not seven Chaos Emeralds in this game. How many are there? They're, they only show like five, and you don't collect them. It's all part of the story well, instead. Well, 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 the thing is that you only need technically need one chaos now. emerald to do chaos we control. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this right now. Yeah, yeah. You, you only need I'm one sure chaos emerald to do chaos control. Um, He's gonna bang so these two together. <laughs> Did you see that? Yep. Did you see how much time he took there? He just zooms out so dramatically, he just turns to him and he just nods. It's so perfect. There's so many perfect things about these cutscenes, I just love it. I just, it's just, it's, it's, it's so, it's so melodramatic in those perfect way. it's just great. It's Not so only exciting. is this supposed to represent Sonic games, but also supposed to represent that new generation as it was coming out, the, what, sixth generation of consoles or something, with PlayStation yeah. 3? Yeah, so, so it's supposed to show it off, right? Is the aesthetic... That they're going for reminisce, just supposed to be reminiscent of film. I think a lot of game designers have yeah, an understanding of what film does, what film is, um, and what what it means for something to be cinematic. Um, being cinematic doesn't just mean that you have something that looks like a camera and then you put it in. Being cinem something that is, I mean, look, I'm, I'm not like a film theory master here, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that something that is cinematic means it demonstrates an understanding of a perspective and of framing um, of a visual framing so so that, that's pretty much what cinematic sense would imply right so so games don't try to be cinematic they, 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 but, but, they, but they do try to simulate a certain kind of like a, a certain kind of blockbuster aesthetic that they don't actually do very well um, sometimes sometimes the game will do it properly but most of the time they just kind of don't um, so so Sonic 06 is just like another crate on the train. That's just going in that direction. And just an, another of the many, many games that just employ that really badly. And don't really do it in a way that actually communicates much of anything. Um, so that's pretty wow. much it. Wow, you know, that it. actually gets into a lot of things because that's something that we see on every console generation. Well, well you know Are these kinds of games. Because, because Sonic 06 is in, is in the early PS3 version where being cinematic meant having cool pads and camera angles. But when you get to, to, to late PS3, you get games like DMC Dill May Cry. They try to do the... the Fucking shaky cam thing. Yep. And it's just like, oh, it's like, oh god, it's just, I'm just rolling my eyes. Oh, <laughs> no, it's just, it's so, it's just so irritating. Whatever. It's just, but you know, yeah, it's just, 
It should, it, it's an entertainment industry, right? So it tries to keep up. Uh oh. Lava. Luckily, lava doesn't kill us. Even the water does. Water kills us, but, but the hot molten lava does not kill us. Not knowing where to go kills us, though. Where am I going? There we go. I always feel like you're so on the brink. Also, why are they glowing? Uh, because I hit a switch. Okay. Yeah, they're glowing from a little bit ago. Okay, I gotta fight this guy, but I don't have any coins. I don't like this. So, so yeah. Um, also, when it comes to Sonic, it's just the way that it presents itself. I, I, I should have mentioned that before, actually, so never mind. But also, the thing about Sonic 06 is that, is that generally the way it presents itself is different from most Sonic games, um, because it tries to put up this weird, like, sort of like, hey, look, we're modern Carlton generation game, right? That's what I'm it's getting at, is that the presentation... It's the Hedgehog because it's supposed to be a revitalization of the series. And right? I think it's a cinematic revitalization. I think they're well, trying, well, or at well, least they're trying to emulate that idea as, as foolhardy as it is. Well, I'm, I'm the not idea sure of cinematic. To something cinematic as much as this revitalization is something that's trying to emulate other games that have sold better. Um, there's, there, there's understanding of what the entertainment trend is there of big goes. trip of the games. Would be oh wow okay. Yeah. He doesn't even close his eyes. He just sits there. He just puts his head to the freaking ground like he's listening to it or something. But, yeah, I'm um, dead. Yeah, he's like I. <laughs> he's like oh yeah. Oh, it's over, I guess. Whatever. Uh -oh. Alright, then. Okay. <laughs> that was the closest I've ever been to eating it while uh, still surviving. There we go. We made it. I didn't make this jump last time, and so I had to take an alternate route, which they provided! Which is weird, because they do not provide these routes in the Sonic campaign of this, this level. That's if you fall off the path, you are dead. Yeah, it's definitely a weird thing of it. So, so, so I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that a lot of what Sonic 06's problems just come from its need to to be part of a trend, um, and it just destroys itself trying to do it. It's I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that, that that's it's reactionary like, and not innovative. Yeah, it's just kind of like we need we need to make this a modern generation console game, so everything needs to look really shiny, and it needs to have. It needs to have it has to have good cutscenes and stuff, and he's have this and that. When I find um, creative work that is uh, reactionary and not innovative, well, well, it I mean, kind like, of turns into stuff like this. Not necessarily Sonic 06, because this is an extreme, but <laughs> it it has some similar kinds of ideas to it, where it's like, okay, because you're reacting to like cultural or artistic changes. In a media, you're not um, oops, you're not creating for the game itself as much as you're creating for this larger idea. Um, like, like I, I guess personally, I'm not really looking for innovation much. I'm looking for something that feels inspired. So I guess like I'm, okay, yeah, I think that might be that, a better that, way to put it. So, so, so a more a more this understanding of a, of of what is like a historical taste of like this something that emulates something else is something that that that, that, that clearly shows like a good understanding of, of of art as a thing, you know, like 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 games that feel inspired by stuff. You know? um, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that they have to reference things directly. I'm not really even into that much. Know, it's just understanding that, that this is a game that does a lot of really interesting things that I can connect them to other things is really cool. Um, Sonic 06 clearly isn't inspired. <laughs> no, <laughs> which know, is so. funny because uh, and, Mario funny games, the, the classic Mario games, aren't inspired either. But because they are so... Uh, what's what's I, a good I, word I for it? Like, Branded, I, I, I guess? Like, I feel like they, they, they are somewhat inspired, but I don't think it's like explicit in those things. But it does feel like they are. It, 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 it's weird because because Mario, right? Mario, Mario really is a really unique kind of aesthetic. It really is. Um, Mario really is one of a kind, honestly. I totally agree with that. But I I think that what they do is really conservative because they've been doing the same thing for the last 35 years. Well, well, whether it's 2D, whether it's 3D, company, right? yeah. So. And I think that's what we've been kind of trying to say this whole time, is that even though that this is a failed game or a failed attempt, uh, it's still not as conservative as Mario games are. They, yeah. They're doing a lot more in a much well, stranger well, space. Well, um, well, it is kind of inspired is... in a weird way. Yeah, well, well, I mean, we can say that Sonic was inspired by weird, like, fantasy imagery. 
right and some yeah some old school european stuff big castles and yeah yeah so there's stuff here right like you know it's just you know it's just, you know it's how to go six right so yeah uh oh, this game. not the most yeah nothing really revolutionary but it's a thing <laughs> It's a thing, which is the worst thing to say. It's a, it's just, it's a thing, I guess. It exists. It is an entity. Um, what did, did that do anything? Oh, hi there. Hi, friends. Can I just leave? Oh, I think I can. I think I can just walk away. Please let me just leave. Yes. Nice. Nice. Yay! Oh, okay, good. Four minute checkpoint. That's insane. <laughs> That's Sanic. <laughs> oh, you know, you know what is one of the best Sonic games though ever made? Sonic 2006. Oh. I don't. I only no. play the best. <laughs> what is no, it? It's a. It's it's Sonic Ball. Um, Sonic Ball is the best Sonic game ever made, and it's not even made by Sonic Team. It's made by Sonic Team. It's called Sonic Ball, um, and it's amazing. I have it's seen Sonic Sonic Ball. Have you seen it? Uh huh. Yeah. It's not, it's the, I know yeah, exactly it's, what you're talking about. But did, did you only see it when I was tweeting about it a long time ago? Because they, they, they made a huge update to it, they added new courses to it, they added like new characters and music, and you could play online. Really? Yeah, I don't know if- I never got it to work though, it's like you have to enter like a port number, but I think it's a feature that actually is a thing. <laughs> like, like oh. I, maybe I need to read instructions of how it works, but you can do it. So Sonic Ball is, is one of the best Sonic games ever made, I just want to put that out there. <laughs> it it totally actually is. does have like... It, it well, sometimes does like, that like, Sonic feeling of uh, frictionless I, I, speed better than Sonic does. Yeah, and, and, but I also feel like like Sonic Ball comes from like an actual like love of, of the nature of the quirky nature of Sonic fan culture. Because Sonic oh, fan culture is pretty quirky, right? In a certain sense, and 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 and, and it sees and it sees Sonic as this weird, as this weird like awkward like funny quirky thing that's just like really weird, you know? Like 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 cause Sonic games are really weird. They are yeah. just kind of. You know, and, and, and it kind of embraces Wow, that. this game just took me in a huge circle. Uh, You're... And it <laughs> did not let me go. But yeah, this game has a weird language that it's trying to teach me. Come on, there we go. Sometimes I can just pick up enemies and destroy them in one go. Cool. Which has a bit of a... It's got a powerful feeling to it. <laughs> I so I still remember when game reviews used to game reviews. I don't know if they still do this. I don't really game read the game as much as I used to. Sure. Um, but doing this thing where it's like it makes you feel like a badass, on, like as a compliment. So it's like you feel like a badass. So it's like kind of like embracing that whole power fantasy thing. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, there was just an instruction that said basically nothing. I don't know if you just saw that, but a tutorial prompt that was like keep going on these floating platforms. Really? Yep. And well, I was like, you know okay, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> well, you know what, I would argue that, that that is helpful in a certain sense. Um, actually, probably because it's like, it's like you get lost a lot, right? It's like, it's just a nice way to tell you like, you're, you're doing the right thing right now. Just keep doing what you're doing. I, you know, I would like, agree, like except that there's been other times in this level, like in the last seven minutes and 20 seconds, where I've been so lost. I I kind of, you know what? In like a big space, without just, knowing just, that I was supposed to go across these floating lava things. I, I, I don't know if in any of the Sonic game you pay attention so much to the time as in Sonic 06, because it just gets so long. You have to sit there and just reflect and just look back at the time and go, fucking really? Yeah, I I'm not. This shit I'm not getting six. lost in this game. That's for sure. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Do we got the box? Get off the box. This is this is no place for you. There we go. It's my box. You can find a different box. That's the line that they're going with in Sonic 06. Silver just said, no matter how many of you come, it's a waste of time. That's... Alright. Translator's stuck with that one. <laughs> I write Sonic fan fiction. I don't doubt it. I, I just would hope so. I probably would if I was any good at writing. 
Yeah, well, because I think there's was... actually a lot of cool work there. Man, I need I need to I need to take some time to read. There, I have so much like so, so you know that I have too much to read. But I mean, you know, I, your I, reading I, list I, as an academic is huge. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> tongue in cheek. Well, not an academic, I know. Right? I'm, just, I'm just I'm just some dude who reads books. But yeah, I mean, like, you know, um, I would like to go through the comics a bit more, a bit more um, critically next time because I used to read them, but that was a while ago. But I like to re-go through them again because there are a lot of them. Um, but I like to go through them and get a better understanding of Sonic lore, because from what I remember, it's really interesting. The Sonic is such an interesting thing. Like, like, like this is the thing I don't think I, I got to mention that the Sonic is not comparable to Mario in terms of content. This is another thing: is that, is that oh, Sonic yeah. the marketing Sonic the marketing character is the antithesis to Mario, but Sonic and its content is just not. Um, it's it doesn't it doesn't have that. That was kind of, that was the differentiation even... you were trying to make was that there's a difference between Sonic, that is this marketed mass produced or mass consumed character and yeah, what and actually Sonic. is in the content of yeah sonic w w media which which honestly probably just reflects the culture's inability to, to understand content but that that's the thing, right but like you know geez it's just like it's it's in terms of it just has such a huge different tonal range and its subtext just goes in completely different directions and i and i i say that that sonic actually has a feel has a subtext to it you know mario has an interesting aesthetic to it that i find is really interesting um, and slightly surreal and it's kind of cool but I also find it to be just kind of like a weird like feedback simulator thing oh yeah you know so it's just kind of weird like it's just kind of hitting a bunch of pleasure points but but Sonic like really I feel like Sonic in terms of fiction has really like tried to attempt to create like worlds that that, that try to refer back to us that, that 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 have real politics to them yeah in a way that Mario never and I wonder really if that exploration of the lore the larger sense of Sonic that doesn't get explored by Mario, and and putting those two together is very important. I wonder if that's what fuels. Wow, a string of rings. That was kind of cool. Uh, I wonder if that fuels the fan fiction. Probably. I never. I, I never. Because Mario was... doesn't have the fan fiction problem. Yeah, but Mario but, also but doesn't Sonic explore does. its own lore. 